Oh. Hey, that reminds me, Pa! What's that, Junior? Toilet's broke at the cabin. Uh, all right, after work, I'll go over there and fix it again. Fix it again? What, are you gonna keep scabbing this thing back together? I think it's time we buy a new toilet. You think so? Yeah, they're not that expensive. Plus, everything's so water efficient nowadays, that might be the way to go, Pa. Yeah, I think you're right. All the money I put in that toilet over the years, I probably could have just bought a new one. Probably could have bought 10 of them. Yeah, you're right. All right, I'll stop and pick up a new one. All right, sounds good, because I'm gonna be blowing it up. I'm gonna need it in good working order. Ew, I didn't need to know that. Pterodactyl here. Today's how-to video is gonna be on how to change a toilet. That's right, I'm gonna show you how to remove and replace a toilet with a new one. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is shut the water off to the toilet. There should be a valve to shut it off. You want to shut it off, then you're going to want to get the water out. So you're going to have to flush it. Hold the lever down. Get as much of that water out as you can. And then you're going to get something and we're going to scoop the rest of the water out of here because it's going to make a mess. So I just took a water bottle and cut the top off because you can kind of form it to squish in there. And of course, whenever dealing with fecal matter, you might want to wear some latex gloves. Now we'll go ahead and disconnect the supply line. All right. Disconnect it from here. You'll get a little bit of water. Now we need to get these nuts off. Now chances are they're not going to come off depending on how long the toilet's been there. So you may have to cut them off. But judging by the looks of these, they're all rusted and rounded off. So we're gonna cut them off with a four inch grinder. I got my four inch grinder. Make sure you wear eye protection. And make sure there's nothing around that's gonna be flammable because it's gonna shoot sparks and you don't want it to catch fire on any kind of curtain or something. That makes quick work of it. There, now it's ready to come off. Now you're gonna need some help. Get somebody to help you take it and drag it outside. Dispose of it properly. Make sure you buy plenty of these gloves because this is a dirty job. You're going to need a scraper to scrape away any of any kind of sealant and to get the old wax ring off. And of course, here at my cabin, this was the only scraper I could find. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all scraped off. And then we're going to go ahead and get this wax ring off of the flange here. Since you got gloves on, don't be afraid to tackle the fecal. Now you're going to get sewer gas that's going to come out of there. So a lot of times you can stick a rag in there until you're ready to put the toilet on, but don't forget to take the rag out. So we want to remove the flange bolts which are just teed into there and we'll throw them away. Now we're ready to put our new toilet on. 
So this is the toilet that we chose. I have this same toilet in my shop I bought a couple of years ago and I really like it. It's got the buttons on the top instead of the handle. When you take it out of the box, you're gonna have to assemble it. So there's gonna be a bag with the T-bolt and these retainers. So you're gonna wanna put these on. You gotta kinda screw them on there. And get them down close. And we're gonna slip them in here. See, and that holds it for you. And then do the same to the other side. So that's how it should look before you slip it in the flange. Because that's going to hold it for you. Kind of line them up. Now we're ready to install the wax ring. So we need to flip over the bowl. And then there's a compartment in there for your glasses to fall into, just like mine did. Or you can hide stuff in there. Take the wax ring and set it on there and just kind of get it to stick. All right, now we're ready to install it over the flange. And then take again, drop your glasses down the sewer pipe. This is the tricky part. Line it up. And then you're gonna wanna push on the toilet to squish out that wax ring. Give it a little push and a little wiggles worth. And there's your dinner. Now kind of square it up with your wall. All right. This toilet's a lot bigger than that other one. So now we're ready to bolt the toilet down to the floor. So you got these plastic washers we want this facing down. Then that metal washer, then a nut. Kind of center it as best you can. And then they give you a tool in the kit. A little wrench, a little plastic wrench. Isn't that cute? Or you can use a regular wrench. So you're gonna wanna tighten it evenly. So snug it down a little bit. Tighten the other side and this side, you don't have to get crazy. It's only a plastic wrench. And then this is good because you can't over tighten it. Because this is only going to let you tighten it so tight before it slips off of there. And that's as tight as you need it. So just go back and forth until it slips on there. You don't want to over tighten it with a regular metal wrench. Okay. Then you can snap these caps on top. But if your studs are long, like these are, gonna have to get that four inch grinder and cut them down a little bit, because that's what we're gonna have to do here. We're gonna have to trim them off a bit. These are the bolts that hold the tank to the toilet. And this cup rubber washer goes inside. So take the nuts and the washers off and don't lose them. And then this is the seal that goes between here and the tank. And you're gonna to wanna to put that on here. So you gotta stretch it onto there. All right. Now we can take the bowl and set it on top of the toilet, like so.
So you're gonna have to hold it with one hand because it'll fall off and you don't want to break it. Put the bolt in. And then with your nut and washer, reach under here. Get it started. And then do the same to the other side. Don't let go of it. If you need help, get somebody to help you. All right. Now get your plastic tool. And this is your socket. And again, evenly, back and forth, tighten it down. You'll feel it start to seat. Very carefully tighten it till it's snug. There's your dinner. All right, now I'm gonna hook the supply line back up. Now, sometimes you may have to replace this hose. Your, your old one may not work but ours is gonna work. So all I'm gonna have to do is take this off and there's a little rubber wash or white plastic washer we don't need. I'm gonna take that off. Now slowly open your valve and check for leaks. Yep, so far so good, no leaks, Woo! no leaks! Better hurry up, I gotta take a leak. Now we need to install our push button. Now there's adjustments on here, it should be adjusted to where it needs to be, but you can adjust these by turning them in or out. So you can get it for more or less water. So this is pretty simple, you just take the nut off. And you got their lid. And you want it like that. You want the bigger button on the right side and the smaller button on the left side. And just put the nut on. Don't cross thread it like I'm doing now. There we go. Come on. You're gonna wanna line it up nice and square. You can just tighten it by hand. That's all you need. Now we can put the lid on here. All right. So, this is for P, and this is for Poo. And you can push them both at the same time, but you're wasting water. So this is a small one, half flush for P. And full flush for number two. Now all we gotta do is put the uh, toilet seat on. 
there's our toilet seat and here's the plastic hardware that goes with that. So it's pretty simple. You take these things here and they stick under here like this. This rubber thing goes from underneath. This goes underneath. So here's that screw. Goes in there. Put the rubber washer. Then you got another plastic washer. Tighten it down. So you got that? We'll do it again. This goes through the top, like that. And then all this and this, just like this, goes from underneath. Kind of center it, get the seat centered, push it back a little, and then go ahead and tighten them down. You're only going to be able to tighten them finger tight. They don't give you a tool for that. You don't want to tighten it too tight as plastic, you'll probably break it. And then it's that slow closing, which is nice. So it doesn't slam. And then you got these little caps that you just snap in there. There. Isn't that nice? The very last thing we're gonna do now is run a bead of caulk around the bottom base of the toilet where the toilet meets the floor. We wanna seal up that little gap. Get yourself some good kitchen and bath sealer. You could use clear, white, whatever you wanna use. Side. I probably should have bought clear caulk because of the floor so if you have a white floor you might want to use white but I should have used clear but regardless you're gonna to want to caulk around the bottom of the toilet that's all there is to replacing an old toilet with a new toilet wasn't that hard was it so you need to subscribe to this YouTube channel Taro fixes all ring the bell for notification ding 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 follow me Facebook and Instagram Go to our web store, buy some Terrell apparel, because you're gonna wanna look spiffy when you're sitting on the toilet taking a dump. And as always, there's your dinner. Yeah. All right, Pa, you done? I gotta make a poop face. Get out. Thanks for doing that, by the way. I better call the bomb and arson squad, because he's about to blow up that toilet. <laughs>